So I've been hearing a lot about T.I. and his wife being in trouble having to do with sexual allegations that were made against them. And so I'm looking at an article right now, and this is pretty serious. At first I thought, oh, you know, maybe it's just somebody coming forward and there, you know, it's just a, maybe one or two people and, you know, maybe there's something behind it and they haven't quite got all of the information out. You know, maybe there's something else going on, but it keeps coming up and there's more people coming out and speaking out and it's pretty serious and so this is like all in it's not even just in you know on the internet but it's in the papers and it's pretty bad and so it says ti and tiny i i believe they had a show and the show was on bh1 it says T.I. and his wife, Tamika Tiny Harris, have agreed to pause the production of their VH1 reality series. So it was Friends and Family Hustle, T.I. and Tiny's Friends and Family Hustle, amid the allegations, now listen to this, that the hip-hop couple drugged and sexually abused young women, both of them. And so it's not just... This one right here is not just a man doing something to a woman, but this is a, a couple doing something to young women. And so this is pretty serious allegation. So T.I. and his wife, uh, we are aware of the allegations. This is, I believe, them talking. And while they are not connected to our show, we have reached out um, to T.I. and Tamika Harris as well as, now this is actually coming from, it sounds like, um, it says officials of MTV. It says they reach out to the couple, T.I. and Tamika Harris, as well as the local and state officials. An MTV entertainment spokesperson said in a statement to the deadline. So given the serious nature of the allegations, we have decided to suspend production in order to gather more information. And so the publication noted that the previous announced, previously announced springs, I believe it was a spring season four premiere, has also been curbed after several, several women came forward this week accusing the couple of sexual abuse, trafficking, and coercing them into having sex. So this was in a statement, T.I. and Tiny deny in the strongest way possible the egregiously appalling allegations. And so for those of you, if you're wondering who they are, and I think a lot of people know who they are, but some people may not, you know, if they're not into um, the, the hip hop genre of music, but this is a uh, a hip hop artist T.I. to the left and his wife Tiny, who um, I believe in the 90s she was um, pretty big on R&B or hip hop R&B. And so I, I remember or recall seeing her in a um, uh, musical group, a uh, musical group. And so the Grio previously reported. The abuse allegation first surfaced after a Sabrina Peterson, a form, former friend, family friend of the couple, had accused, this is how it started, had accused the rapper of holding a gun to her head. So Tiny was quick to clap back and defend her man on social media. And so hold up. So you want your abuser to train your sons? He was just uncle two years ago. And now, when did you say my husband assaulted you? Okay. All right. And so this, I guess, is coming from, I'm, I'm believing tiny. Okay. So it says, did you change your mind or change it back? Tiny wrote. And so what's up with you today, boo? I'm confused. Stop harassing my family. You, you're strange. Are you strange? Everybody 
knows you've been special. Face slicing seminar lady. Okay. Please get help, but leave us alone. So I believe this is coming from Tiny as well. So Peterson's bombshell tale allegedly prompted several women to reach out to, to her to share their personal experiences with T.I. and Tiny and their kinky bedroom antics. And so, um, I don't know how long this article goes. I think it goes a little bit longer. So um, there might be something else popping up along the side of it. It looks like it. So these look like several tweets. Okay, so this is Sabrina Patterson, or no, not Patterson, Peterson, caught posting fake TI and tiny victims. Okay, so this was from TI, okay, courtesy of at something, I-O-B-T, oh, I-O-B tweets something. Okay, so these were, these were on Twitter, and I believe this is what was popping up. That's why it was taking a while. So this is out of TI's um, Twitter account, and so I'm not going to read all of this, but it looks like it was a heated back and forth on Twitter over this. So the duo released a statement on Friday in which they explained that they have had difficulty with Peterson, is her name, for well over a decade. A rep for the couple said they are taking the matter very seriously and if the allegations don't end, they will take appropriate legal action. So I've also seen articles where T.I. and Tiny have stated that they were going to also sue the persons that are coming out and starting this whole um, debate and um, this uh, whole thing that's going on of, of allegations. So T.I. born Clifford Harris also took to Instagram to deny the sexual abuse allegations or accusations, characterizing them as egregious and that this was a scheme to get him into court so he would not open up my bedroom. Sorry, he would not open up my bedroom. Yeah, (laughs) I was looking at this and insisted that any sexual relations were entered into a consent by consensual adults okay so this is pretty heated um, and I believe this article is ended um, so I will leave it at that what do you think about this it's, it's starting to get really crazy I don't think we know enough information about it just yet but put it this way uh, I hate to say this, but isn't that what happened with Bill Cosby? It started off where it, it kind of feels sort of the same way, but it kind of, you know, you had one or two people complaining, and then and the next thing you know, there were all these women that just came out of the woodworks. And now I know some people say some of them weren't honest. They were just trying to see if they could get paid, and then others were honest, and then there were others that just, you know, had it out for him. And then I heard stories about how he was a horrible person behind closed doors. He wasn't the person that he supposed to be, you know, this American dad and popular and this clean comic. And T.I., he's a rapper. His wife and him have been successful. They've been in movies. I know T.I. has seen him in movies. Um... And his wife, you know, she she had a R and hip hop R and B or R and B soul type of uh, group she came from, and they were pretty popular. They were sort of like a high powered, somewhat high powered uh, power couple, and so in the music world as well. Um, it just seems really crazy. It just seems like the more and more people come out the more you start to lean towards, you know, okay, which of this isn't true because there must be something more to it if you have more people coming out about it. And so 
I would say this is a developing story, but it's pretty heated as it, it goes along. It is not something I don't think that they're going to take lightly because when you have, I say when you have more than, when you have more than two women coming forward and they're all saying similar stories, they have to take these things pretty serious. When you have one person come forward, um, it raises an eyebrow. You know, it starts to, you know, they got to hear that person's side of the story. And then when they have a barrage of all these other people that are coming forward with similar stories, it, sh it almost looks like people are more leaning towards something happened. Something happened. You can't have all these people just making up a story on this couple. You know, something somewhere happened. That's all you can say. You don't know you don't know who and, and what and why and where, but you know that later we're gonna find out. And you know, I believe too what happens um, when people are, you know, they're popular and they have a lot of money or fame or fortune, it it seems like um, I believe sometimes they feel that that shields their their dark side. Is it safe to say their their other personalities are the things that they may do behind closed doors that it shields it, but if you if you do a lot of things to people and you treat them badly and they feel that you're taking advantage of a situation and you're using it for your own, you know, evil purposes or whatever it is that you're doing. If you do it in the dark and you think it's not going to come out, it is going to eventually come around. Your number is going to be up. And so that's what I could say about that. I mean, I, I, I believe we're moving into a time where no one is shielded. Not even money can shield you if you're doing things that you know are things that could put you in court and you have to answer for it. And so I believe for a long time people were thinking maybe if they're famous or if they have a lot of money that that's going to protect their their credibility and um, if they have a lot of friends in Hollywood but I don't believe that when you have that serious look what happened to Weinstein look what happened to Epstein look what happened to R. Kelly look what happened to you know look what happened to Bill Cosby there's some bigger name people that were just taken all the way down in flames and you know, and come to find out that most of the allegations turned out to have some some proof, uh, not just some proof, lots of proof and evidence behind it. You know, some of them were so bold to even videotape themselves in the acts of doing what they did. I mean, so there you go. But that's pretty much all I got to say. We This is a developing story. We have to see more, hear more of what these other people's side of the story is because you know this is a, a I don't know yet more to come type of thing I would say but having said that um I'm gonna let this go this is this is something to be looking out for